for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreit and the coach Lee Corso. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the USC Trojans and the Oregon Ducks. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let me tell you, the spirits are flying high in anticipation of this one. And here come the Ducks. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? USC has a real fine quarterback. As long as he doesn't go out and try to do too much, if he can rely on the experience and the talent around him, if he can just do that and relax, I think he'll perform well. And Lee, I think they're going to win the ball game. Not so fast, my friend. Go duck! Quack, quack, quack! Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. as he goes up against a very good wide receiver. This is by far the biggest matchup in the game today. We'll find out how good this corner really is. Kirk, he is the real deal. Take my word for it. This corner can play. There's the play fake. He's rolling right. He goes downtown. Got it. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. And, fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. He's got an open. Oh, man. He took him down hard. And he reeled off a big one. Back to pass. Throws. Complete. What a catch. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad. Defense looking for his first incomplete in this drive. Number 15 fires. Guys, this tight end has the potential to be a crucial part of this offense. Potential? Heck, I think he already is. You're right, Kirk. That's because he sells his block so well that the defense leaves him alone. In the gun. Under pressure, looking, and now he's going to improvise. At the point, he's all the way down to the 32. Oh, man, how do you defend that, guys? The only way to stop the quarterback who is that fast is to have at least one guy spying him on every play. Otherwise, he'll run it all over you. I agree, Coach. This kid has very dangerous feet. They need to do a must. Come out showing three wide. Rolls right. He looks. Number eight with a fumble. Jackson digs it off the turf. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean. When... Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. Zips it right. To the middle. It's his tight end. The tight end with a nice catch there. Look at the throw. Look. Fires a bullet out to the right. It's complete. Bubbles the ball. Scooped up by the defense. How about that play, coach? Nice play from the key part of this defense. This safety is a big-time football player. And that fumble week, that combination means one thing for the offenses. Nightmare. Lee, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past the 50, let alone find the end zone. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. All sides, on the defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. After a quarter of play, our score is USC, 7, Oregon, nothing. He gets it up. And he's got it. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick.
There's a play fake. He rolls out to the right. Number 15 delivers. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Ellison gains seven yards with a catch there. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much. He comes to the line with three wide. He's looking to pass. Steps up. He looks complete. Brought down at the 30-yard line. He got it, but it wasn't by much, Coach. Hey, the receiver ran a good route. The quarterback threw it, and he got the first down. Lane. Look at the throw. Number 15 lets it fly. And he's tackled at the 19. Another completion, another chunk of yards, and that'll push him past the 2,000-yard mark for the year. This guy's such a steady... They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. And this one falls incomplete. So since the quarterback and receiver couldn't hook up, we're going to have a fourth down. The kick is up, and he got it. Number eight, rifles it, and he brings it down. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch with three wide. Play action, he's under pressure. He's sacked at the 46-yard line. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. And it paid off too, Kirk. That was his fifth sack of the season. Well, he's certainly shown that he can get information. Feeds it to the back. Fumble, loose ball, and the defense is on it. How'd he lose that football, Coach? I'll tell you how he lost it. He looked like the halfback was carrying the ball like an antique base or something. But you can't do that. you got to carry it like it's a football. Back to pass. He flings it. And he's got it for the touchdown. The pass was right on target and goes for six. Man, that was a bullseye of a pass. And it left his hand in a real big hurry. Decent kick. Gable fields it at the seven. There's a player down, and it doesn't look good from here. Oh, you really hate to see something like this happen to a guy like that. That's a tough one to handle. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. Rolls right, looking. Let's it fly. And he's got him on the run. And he's all the way down to the 43. That play looked like it could have gone the distance. Let me tell you, they were very fortunate that that one wasn't taken in for the score. They had a guy coming on the pitch that time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. Again, comes out with five receivers. Here's the option left. He lateral. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Right with a takedown at the 31-yard line. SC brings in their nickel package. Rolling out to the right side. He's looking for his man. He snags it. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First of all, the defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so in their dime package. He rolls out to the right, surveys the field. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. He gets it up. And he missed it off the upright. So they can't break the tie on the miscue by the kicker. He better get over that miss fast. I have a feeling they might. For the pass as they bring out their dime package. McKnight on the run. Fumble! Recovered by the defense. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. It lines up in the shotgun. Here's a counterplay. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Hawkins, option, left side. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. So on fourth down, the option was exactly what they needed. I can't say it enough. You've got so many ways you can run this play, it's almost impossible to stop when they need only a cup. It's up. And it's through the uprights. He's looking to pass. 
looking. Throws to the middle. And he's got him again. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense. Back to pass. He's looking down the middle. He got it to his receiver. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And, Coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter here. Drops back to pass. Broke away from one. Steps up. Bayer will make the sack. That defensive end just came off the edge and pow! The quarterback didn't have a chance. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. There's the play fake. He's rolling right. He looks. Incomplete pass. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays. He just a nice job, guys. Look at the throw. Throws. Couldn't haul it in. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. And now he's going to improvise. They didn't get it. And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. And that's why he was so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered down. Gable, the ball carrier. The ball came free, and the defense is on it. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard. Back to pass. He throws a dart to the left. Catches it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Ducks. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. He drops back. Stepping up. Down the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. First down, look at the throw. The cavalry's coming. They'll sack him at the 23-yard line. Incomplete pass. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Oregon came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 20, USC 10. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.